Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play with Aspo, which we are Denmark. We are eating up the English people here in our uh, Iron Price Let's Play. Uh, sadly, well, let's take a look at that nationalism, by the way. What's it like now? 1527, Northumberland is English. English cannot be removed from a province as long as England exists as a nation. So yeah, that was what I'm. That was what I was talking about. We can't remove England. We can't do our achievement until we have totally removed England. At least, uh, as far as I've heard from Europe. But we'll see. We might have to get them out of North America as well. And they usually get a few provinces here in uh, Central Africa. But we have our goal uh, set straight for us. We are have one mission and that is to exterminate the Brits. So, religious civil disorder. We could yeah, we should strive for a tolerant society. Uh, let us uh, ignore our uh, stability. Let's look at that now. 60%, so we're getting close to flippable. Uh, at the moment, this will give us 500 decades, so that's good. There we go. Savalax. Let's talk to them, and let's... Uh, yeah, let's accept that demand though. <sighs> though, 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 though. Need to stop doing that. So, we are losing money for some reason. I guess it's the religious unity. All this. Well, we did get uh, plus. Was it plus three revolt risk? Yeah. That decreases your income in every freaking province. Let's look at this. Uh, well, see over here. But let's look at the revolt map mode then. So 7.9 here means uh, revolt risk minus 31.6 income from attacks. So that's what you get for having high revolt risk. And as you can see, all these yellow provinces are not giving me full income. So that's why we are losing money right now. We did integrate Wales, though. Uh, so let's issue a new edict. Because they didn't listen to the first one. Got that stability back. And yeah, we are getting cardinals, even though we are becoming... So now we have six cardinals, and we are going Protestant. So Wales is part of us. That's great. Ooh, we have Patriots in Yorkshire. So let's try this army out here. This, uh, let's see, November 5. Thank you. Excellent. Look at this. This is splendid. This is one good front here. Or back, rather. This can These cannons here. Uh, we have all of our cannons in the back row. We've got few reserves should probably get some more uh, but we'll be fine so there we go you should go eat there and you should wait one second and then go away to Norfolk and then we speed up again our truce is whoa 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 21 wasn't it so I actually missed it by a year uh, attentive viewers, I guess, will will have noticed that. So, speed down, and let's actually talk about this. What to do about Austria? We want to get Austria into a war with us. That does not involve England. But they will... 
out of all these allies, they will take over the war and they will call England. Uh, so I guess we have no no choice but to actually just go for it, attacking England. We have France taking care of Austria, so that's. Uh, Hansa is defender of the Protestant faith. Oh, so they are Protestant, and so are the Hansa. So, if I flip, they won't protect them. And I won't have to deal with the Hansa beating up my homelands. So, however, France might actually hate me for it. But, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's, uh, it's time, let's flip. Uh, getting 400 ducats, losing a lot of prestige, but that doesn't matter, we'll get it back in a minute. Uh, right, so Papal State got all our cardinals. <laughs> oh, congratulations, you got six of them. Uh, there we go, let's, uh, let's focus on the heavy ones for, uh, for starters because I can't really convert them as soon as I lose my bonuses. Well, Kent has local autonomy, so that sucks. Well, we'll be fine. Uh, France still loves me, so let's declare this war against England. And yeah, why am I not fabricating claims, by the way? This is, uh, this is mistakes. So, let's take a look at that, by the way. We should... Now we can take marches, actually. Uh, so let's do that. And maybe I should try to... It would be a year. A year wait. It's not really worth it, is it? Let's take a look at this. Uh, 7, 14, 19, 24. That's more than enough. I can't really swallow that in one piece deal. So, yeah. We are fine for this war, I guess. For losing 9.6 ducats. Oh yeah, that rolls risky. Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, oh yeah, the fabrication. Uh, <laughs> oh, we had a mission to solidify our papal relations. Forgot about that. <laughs> well... It will delay the war by one month, but it'll be worth it. Free military power, that's worth one month. So February 2, that means the war goes live March 3. Thank you. So we get some free conversions, that's great. Now. Proper fleet rival of our rival is Pomerania. Well, Pomerania is allied with England. So I have a feeling that they're not going to be at 125 uh, relations with me anytime soon. Danish trade. <laughs> yeah. That's not going to happen either. Uh, no, no, those are going to happen, so we can just stop looking at them. March 3. Have nationalists in Finland, we ignore them and they will go away. There we go. Declare that war. But what for? Let's go to war for Oxfordshire. Thank you. So, London. Oh. They were saved by the well, I guess. Uh, Hansa likes us. So that was the British army. Stack wiped. Austria, Muscovy. Muscovy? In personal union under Pomerania. For real? I did not see that one coming. Whoa, that was a side swipe. 
that I have never seen before. Whoa. So I was like, yeah, I like Pomerania, this tiny guy. <laughs> and then for some reason, they have their king on the Muscovite throne. <laughs> Whoa. Well, it's it'll be fine. <laughs> we will be able to siege up this these English provinces anyway. So, yeah. But I did not expect that to happen. Uh, judging by my voice, I think you understand. Uh, my surprise speaks for itself. Uh, leaving some troops in London, splitting these troops here, making some carpet sieging. So we got this stack here that has nothing to do. So I guess we can send it across the oceans. If we're lucky. Our generals die. Feels like they die for nothing. Hmm. Well, nothing to do about that. Problem is... Can we pause that game? Thank you. Problem is... You should send someone to London, by the way, because uh, this province here is uh, just fort level 2. London is fort level 1 million. If 1 million equals 3. Uh, 31 light ships, 7 heavies, 9 galleys. So it would be a risk sending my ships somewhere. However, well, they're just gonna patrol here, it seems. Oh, thank you, France. I'll actually pitch in. But I leave my transport, so I'm just gonna send my galleys to help out. There we go, got some prestige as well. And five navy tradition. Sweet! So, I'm gonna send ten guys to. Uh, to the other side of the world and hopefully uh, let's see this is uh, November 2 November 4 so that one is uh, faster hopefully I'll be able to make it there without dying uh, Burgundy is in a coalition nothing we can do about that and yeah Muscovy is in our back. Uh, these Brandenburg and Austrians are in our front. But I'm all over Britain, so I win. I hope. I hope I win. So we lost one diplomat, though, uh, for uh, losing the Curia. That's, uh, that's a shame. Uh, I would accept their demands however we'll just uh, let uh, Muscovy take care of that and save our prestige so let's see what we can do about this uh, colony over here siege of Mar marches it would be fun if we could actually take all of their colonies and get our colonial game going that way uh, I mean, who needs oh, four heavies? That's gonna hurt. Notre Dame Bay. So we are more or less screwed, I guess. Unless we can actually fool them. Ooh, this is uh, uh, interesting. Uh, radical reforms. Two of our uh, two of our most trusted advisors, Victor Ulefeldt and uh, Franz Christiansen, have been talking a lot recently. Plotting, some say, drafting plans for Denmark's future. Others say, whatever they are discussing, it's clearly controversial enough to warrant some secrecy. Finally, uh, they approach King Hans I von Wittelsbach to uh, present the results. 
The thick stack of papers contain plans for monumental changes to the nation's trade practices, including increased protectionism, regulation and industrial policy. Radical, some would say. Necessary, Victor Udefeld says. Profitable, says Franz Christiansen. What does Hans I von Wittelbach say about this? Radical to simpler minds, perhaps, but not to the king. Well, uh, we are losing one or two of our uh, guys here to get some more points, or we get five mercantilism and lose the stability. We're gonna go with that. It's gonna cost us, uh, well, potentially 140 points then. Uh, I guess that stability is more than 100 points. Uh, but five mercantilism? Really? I really need. I, I could really use that. That's 10% uh, uh, trade power from all of my provinces. So let's do that. And let's pray for my boats here. Uh, they will be there November 16. On the Siege of Derby. Oh crap. November 25. December 25, yeah, that's not gonna happen. And December, December. So we are screwed. Our troops are gonna die to the British Four Fleet here. What can you do? Guess, guess I should have uh, split them two ways. Well, we can start running. Let's do this and hope that we can run now. I lost two of them. I wonder if. Uh, would you look at that? Even though I'm running away, these guys can move. Oh, they will get there. Oh, sadly, January 12th, so they will probably have to go there again but would you look at that it can actually move while uh, the fleet is retreating uh, so that would probably have meant that had I been able to land in a non-hostile province uh, with my troops that should have been a faster landing than landing in hostile territory and that would mean I could potentially escape with my fleet uh, all the while my troops are landing during a retreat so that's uh, that's something right there so where do we go then we go there so we lost another And this is February 18, February 3rd. Sadly, we could go back home, get some more ships, get back there. It would be nice taking those uh, colonies, to be honest. So, it will take some time though. But we have time. All we have, it, have is time. We have crappy ships compared to England. And they take forever to make. But it's worth it in the end, right? Having colonies instead of England having colonies. That is a fine price, if you ask me. Uh, on the Siege of Cumbria. So we are winning a lot of sieges over here to do about that. Could stack up our troops here, uh, help out the sieges that are not yet done. Take a look at the revolts here, uh, just the Finnish guy. So, they're losing a lot of provinces here. Well, nothing much to do about it. France sieging up uh, Austria, that's good. Let's see if we can't no, nowhere close. One the seats of Gloucester. 
uh, Siege of Cornwall then. Got some Patriots in Norfolk. That's fine. So we are losing... Oh, we are losing a lot of troops, I guess. Uh, we'll lose it all. We'll lose them all. So, we lost 10 fine ships there. With the 10 fine troops. Won the Siege of Cornwall. Well, we couldn't anticipate the British fleet. I guess we could have. Could have looked for it. But I took that risk. And I'll just have to eat it like a man. That sounds dirty. Uh, let's build some transports to get our troops into North America. Get uh, better cannons and horses. That's great. Let's get that done all right away because uh, these sieges are not dependent on my morale. And yes, not gonna happen. Test act. What's that? Missionary strength, tolerance of heretics. We've seen that before. Declaration of indulgence. Tolerance of heretics. So I guess these uh, went away when I switch, uh, switched religion. Got them back now though. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Should try to get a missionary somehow some way but, uh, that's hard should try to look at that timer by the way 21 minutes so we'll probably try to end this episode here let's uh, speed up these sieges and this uh, construction France wants me to go to war in the Castilian conquest against Poitiers of Poitiers against Castile oh they're aggressors here no? Uh, so... I guess it's the Burgundian conquest, really, that Castile stole. Because it's a defensive war for Poitiers. And that's uh, here somewhere, I think. Where's that? Oh, here. It's French, so it should be here. Poitiers. Oh, it's there. What do? So Castile has a claim on all of this. Good luck, Castile. You'll need it. Uh, we will, however, honor that call, I think. I am not done with France. And that's a good way to make them better friends. What is each of Meath? Uh, London, just Wessex now, and we are done. All uh, right, Catholics are in Munster. That's not good. Catholic zealots are troublesome since we can't accept their demands, and they will try to flip my promises. And I really don't have any boats to go there. So that's a problem. I'm gonna have to. I'm going to have to uh, build some mercenaries over here, I guess. Try to care take care of those. Ah, oh, this. This is hurtful for my economy. What can you do? I don't want my. Well, this is Catholic, but I don't want my province, uh, my Protestant provinces here to flip. I've got enough problem as it is. So, Norfolk, you can die. Now, we are losing provinces over here. Let's take a look at the war score here. Pomerania. Can we get Pomerania out of this somehow? Minus 35. Denmark will give core Yorkshire to Norfolk and Norfolk to England. You know that's not gonna happen. 
right? I'll give you a concession of defeat. I won't release any of these either. No. No, that's not part of the deal. Part of the deal is you die. You go to hell and you die. And <laughs> yeah, so did Master of Mint Victor Ulfeldt. Reforms be damned. He died. Being great. So yeah, can't really pick anything else. That income. Raised on more taxes, by the way. Uh, so we are making some. Are we gaining war score or not? That's the question. Uh, we have. We have the battle advantage, I guess, and we have the. We have Oxfordshire, so yeah, it's ticking. It just isn't ticking. Right now. Our boats are coming along. Uh, that's good. Got some more patriots in Yorkshire. Siege of Talastalan. Well, we don't care about Cumbria, Lancashire. Oh, that's the English noble rebels. I can just do this. English noble rebels. No, I can't. Well, I'll let them have it. For now. I think. Is that a good idea? I don't know. I'll just kill them. Um, yeah, I should get my other troops there as well. Yeah, goodbye prestige. Six prestige or three uh, national revolt risk. You'd be a fool picking the wrong thing. Alright. Trying to take care of business. But we're losing provinces. However, we are not losing a lot. Occupied by England. So England has actually got troops in my territory so they did send them from overseas I guess well that is not my problem these are Portuguese ships here Portugal is part of this Castilian war that we are winning hopefully so what to do about that that's a question for Catholic Celts. Can you please take care of this? Uh, Pomerania, where are you? You need to take care of those. Orthodox uh, people can also take care of those. And oh, this is Brandenburg. Brandenburg is probably yeah, they're still Catholic. Yeah, but what can you do? They're gonna flip my provinces unless uh, Pomerania or Muscovy take care of them. We'll see what happens. So these uh, Portuguese ships there, uh, I need to... Let's try to consolidate our ships there. Lost the siege. England of all people feels like quite a shame that they have troops in my homelands I'm the one that's supposed to be sieging them alright these catholic salads they are painful even to look at Essex, Gwynedd there's revolt risk is extreme to say the least what can I do apparently I can lose a ton of uh, mercenaries to 
nothing useful at all. So let's uh, get that out there. And let's watch our money run away. Losing sieges. Losing manpower. This war is not going my way. Maybe I should just accept this as the short war and get the rest of the wars as the heavy wars. Thank you. Just uh, whoa, 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 accept your demands. Go away. Go away. Go die. Apparently I run away. Thank you. I thought I accepted your demands, but because they were in a fight, they per prevailed. So that sucks. Yeah, I should look at this. Uh, Wessex, Oxfordshire. I'll get that. Marches. Can't get that. We are at minus 20. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this. We only really need to go below 300 for this to make sense. Uh, I could get meat. Not really. I want to get this though. Connect my territory here. Split up the British territories. Uh, 20 score. How would we get that? Well, they have a war exhaustion that's ticking tick tock tick tock uh, that's something are we still making no wait uh, what to do what to do what to do we have these I have these ships here I wonder your military your uh oh that's me tech nine what will that give you in the form of... Yeah, what will we give you Carax? So you have better ships. If these are upgraded, that is. Maybe they're not. Yeah, let's... Uh, no, let's not. Ah, oh, crap. Let's just peace out. I was about to end this episode a while back, by the way, and I guess it's uh, at 32 minutes now, so yeah, I guess that's my new standard time. Uh, we will not get the marches, sadly. The marches are 19%. So, could get those two. That's closer to the truth, but that would leave their territory intact, and I don't want that. I want London to be separated. So Oxfordshire and Wessex it is, and I will I will treat this with Austria. And yeah, let's let's be happy with that. Let's not take their money because uh, that will uh, should we do that? I don't know. Tyrone nationalists. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, reduce. Let's not do that. Just let's just pay for it because we are lacking diplo power at the moment. Let's keep that uh, going there. Yeah. This is uh, not as painless as I would have thought it would be. Especially not because of reinforcements, revolt risk, everything else. And these Portuguese ships there is not making things easier for me. So we're moving into the Irish Sea, I should just... Like I said, I'm not done with France yet. I want them to be part of my friendship. Alright. What 
can we do to mark those though? We will have to somehow go on it. We should take care of that. Those Catholic zealots. What can we do about them? That's the question. I can't really get there with these uh, hostile ships. And I can't afford building mercenary army from scratch in every freaking place. So I guess this is uh, the only place I will why did I leave that? Ah, uh, why, why, why? Go, oh, please die now. Please. I want to get rid of these. Thank you. Guess I'll siege it. Thank you. Sorry, just detach and then I'll kill the rest. And yeah, this is this is quite a big bother. I wonder what it would take for France to peace out. I don't want to manually peace out. So I guess I'll have to live with a few provinces flipping to Catholic. Uh, right, national trade income modifier uh, minus 20% for five years. That's 20%. Uh, That's a lot. Oh, well, it's not. It's 1.2 for five years. Sorry. Uh, I got to do that then. Revolt risk is terrible up here. War exhaustion, overextension, religious turmoil, intolerance, no accepted culture. So what culture is this? Sami, yeah, of course. Uh, so yeah. Lost some siege down here. Uh, <laughs> did I just accept? <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh well. That was a quick flip uh, to Orthodox to Protestantism. That was not the rebels I was going to accept the demands for. Uh, I was going to accept the demands of these Cornish. <laughs> They're not even in my territory. Please, this is uh, this is no time for me to be recording this. I feel uh, so. I just flipped to attack England, and then I flipped back. Uh, that sounds like uh, it wasn't a mistake by my uh, by my part. So I'll go with that story. It was all intentional, of course. I never intended to go Protestantism in the first place. Oh, look at that Pope. This, these Cardinals are mine. Well... <laughs> Let's take a look at that. Holstein. It never flipped, so we got five Papal influence for converting it. Uh, yeah, well anyway, this episode is considered over for now. Uh, I will take a while to gather my thoughts about this what we need to do about England and all that this is what we need to do about England we need to fabricate a claim in London uh, but for now anyway thank you for watching uh, be sure to click the like button uh, subscribe to my channel leave a comment and uh, I will see you in the next episode so long <laughs>